Welcome. I'm Lugnesh Kumar, a Jesuit priest from India with a keen interest in integrating natural sciences with spirituality, religions, and cultures to address the socio-ecological challenges that surround us. In this part, I will speak to you about constructive and synergetic contributions of different religions to sustainability. Misha Altman et al. School of Engineering Sweden in 2012 adapts the definition given by Robert in 2000 and describes that the Earth's diminishing carrying capacity can be likened to a funnel, illustrating the widening economic, social and environmental pressures against a backdrop of depleting natural resources and an increasing overpopulation. The United Nations Environment Program defines sustainable lifestyle as ways of living, social behaviors, and choices that minimize environmental degradation. Why? Also supporting equitable socioeconomic development and better quality of life for all. In essence, the aim is to achieve ecological, economical, and social justice. Achieving this goal is possible by fostering harmony within oneself, among each other, that is, other human beings, and within the natural world surrounding us, in other terms, God's created world. Sharing is one of the fundamental ways to attain sustainability. Sharing with one another, sharing with other humans, especially with those in most need. And also sharing with other life forms and sharing with the future generation. Religion and spirituality hold tremendous wisdom for the protection and conservation of our earth. Let's see a few examples. In Judaism, there is a strong emphasis on stewardship of the environment and responsible care for nature. This quote from the Sefer Hakino highlights the principle of not wasting or destroying even the smallest amount of natural resources. This principle reflects the broader Jewish value of Baal Takshik, which provide, prohibits unnecessary waste or destruction. This perspective underscores the importance of sustainable practices that preserve the integrity of ecosystems and promote the well-being of both present and future generations. The Quranic verse emphasizes the divine order and balance in the creation of the sky, the importance of justice in human affairs. It admonishes against the deceitful practices such as tampering with scales or giving short measure. This verse underscores the principle of fairness and integrity in all transactions, urging believers to uphold justice and honesty in their dealings. Additionally, by highlighting the precision and balance in the natural world, the verse encourages reflection on the signs of God's creation and the interconnectedness of all things. The passage from Acts of the Apostles from the Bible describes the early Christian community's practice of communal living and sharing of possessions. Believers were united in heart and soul, and no one claimed individual ownership of their possessions. Instead, they held everything in common, ensuring that there were no needy individuals among them. 
This communal lifestyle reflects the values of compassion, solidarity, and generosity promoted in Christianity, emphasizing the importance of caring for one another and meeting each other's needs through collective support and sharing. The essence of the concept Vasudeva Kutumbakam in Hinduism is derived from Maha Upanishad, part of the Atharva Veda. Vasudeva Kutumbakam, often translated as the whole world is one family, encapsulates the idea of universal brotherhood and interconnectedness. It emphasizes that all beings are part of a single global family, regardless of differences in nationality, race or religion. This concept promotes compassion, empathy and a sense of responsibility towards all living beings, fostering harmony and peace in the world. In Buddhism, the principle of generosity known as dana is highly emphasized, encouraging practitioners to share resources with each other selflessly one relevant teaching from Dhammapada, a collection of sayings attributed to Gautama Buddha, highlights the benefits of generosity. By practicing generosity and sharing resources with others, individuals cultivate kindness and compassion, fostering harmony and well-being in society. Here we are. Some questions for us to reflect. What is your personal faith statement on sustainability? How does your cultural practices promote sustainability? Do you see any similarities with other cultures? Ask your friends. Thanks for listening. Let's sum it up. Religious teachings emphasize stewardship of the earth, communal living and universal compassion, guiding us towards a harmonious relationship with nature and one another. Resources of the earth are limited and our actions impact its sustainability. We must recognize the interconnectedness of economic, social and environmental factors. Sharing resources and promoting sustainable lifestyles are essential for achieving ecological, economical and social justice.